Greetings. That's the loop. Now, we got to get right to this. Because we're in serious times. Now, would you not agree that we are being killed by our adversaries and by each other? Brothers them, some brothers have lost their minds. That's why I got children should not view this. I'm talking about you got grown men with, with, with children's minds, with kids' minds. And of course you're going to have them on the social media. Some of y'all, you know, y'all not critical thinkers. Y'all don't think so. Y'all don't think deep enough. One of my videos, I had uh, said that Minister Farrakhan, kind, you know, he he took over the, the leadership position of the nation of Islam. Off of the reputation of Don the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he attracted a large following. But he changed the teachings and changed the structure of it. And on an interview with T.I. interviewing uh, Alex Jones Alex Jones mentioned that Minister Farrakhan called him and gave an interview. Now I'm going to play that some, some parts of that interview. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't allow Caucasians in the temple. He wasn't into politics. He said that Muslim Islam had his own politics. He wasn't even into uh, Orthodox Islam. Those Muslims that over there in the in the East, where they fighting that right now, he wasn't he wasn't down with them either. And he was guided by Allah and the person of Master Farah Muhammad. So, when brothers and sisters gave their money to help build a nation of Islam, jobs came out of it, businesses, homes, you know, they, they, they had a whole lot of brothers bought apartment buildings. They had farms. Before he died, he was working on a uh, on on the planning table. He had a black hospital in the works. And I was up to the members of the Nation of Islam to keep all that going. But when Wallace came in there, all the members was afraid except my uncle. See, y'all forget that my family and I was deep in the nation of Islam. My uncle fought against Wallace or Warf B. Muhammad. He was also a good friend of Malcolm X. He told me how they assassinated. So I'm going to play an interview with Alex Jones. Now Alex Jones is a supporter of Donald Trump. And he was trying to get or wanted to get Farrakhan to endorse or co-sign 
Donald Trump. In so many words, Mr. Farrakhan did co-sign Donald Trump by saying, well, he'll make, you know, he got his own money and he can't be bought. But I've been playing the, the, the protocols for you. And you're going to see before, before I'm through that you need to keep your money in your pockets. Don't, need, don't, put, don't support no organizations because all of them seem like they're up under the spell of Satan. Let's get to this interview before time runs out. Specifically, though, speak to, I mean, there's so many issues I want to get to with you about where you think the future of this country is going if we wake up, if we transcend this conditioning versus where we're going if we continue to follow the plan uh, that these social engineers have for America. And you said you go back to Trump. America has potential. The people of every ethnic and racial group live in America. Now, right there, we ain't going to be able to get all of it today, but right there, he contradicts the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad say that America will be destroyed by Allah. And he didn't say nothing about America had attention, potential. But y'all brothers and sisters want to blend in with your enemy. That's why he's killing you right now. He's killing you with diseases. He's killing you physically with his hands shooting you, lynching you, and you still ain't woke up yet. So the only thing you need to do, we're going to continue this on the next video, but you can access this video on YouTube if you put in the right uh, wording. But I'm going to break it down for you and show you that Mr. Farrakhan is for Farrakhan and his family, not for all of us. And y'all keep on donating money to a lost cause. So we're going to continue this a little later down the line, maybe today. Before we go, this is a, a reminder. Watch all of my videos, past and present. And you will see a pattern that your natural open enemy, you can you begin to see where he's going. And if you don't open your eyes and wake up, you're going to fall right into a trap. Till then, black light.